The next Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show will take place this Saturday from 9 to 3 at the fairgrounds in Gray. And here to get us ready for this event that will benefit the Gray Community Chest is event organizer Michael Stevens. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Chris. Thank I know you you're here me. when you have them wild tennis <laughs> shoes on. I mean, that's your trademark now. Well, they're easy to find early in the morning. <laughs> You don't even need to turn the lights don't on. Don't have to turn the lights on. <laughs> but let's talk about this. Are you ready for this big show? I hope so. Yes. I'm ready. Tell us what folks can expect. I mean, we, you've had several of these over the years, but kind of break it down for us. What can folks expect when they walk through the doors? Organized chaos. Oh, well, we like that, but organized chaos with a lot of good stuff. Lots of toys. Yes. We'll, we have, the vendors bring different stuff every year, mm -hmm. and we keep expanding with different items. We'll. We even have a paparazzi jewelry lady this year. We have 31 vendor. We crafts are, are coming in mm -hmm. because we have two buildings. We have more room right. to open it up to more less mainstream items. Okay. But people are interested in those. But you will always find lots of comics, trading cards, record albums, magazines, action figures, vintage toys. Just if it's a toy, that genre will be there. Right, and this is all to benefit the Gray Community Chest. How did you decide on, on, on helping them out this time? I spoke with some friends of mine, and they say mm -hmm. it's a really good organization. They do a lot of good in the community, right. and that's what we're here for. And every one, every time you have one of these uh, toy and hobby shows, you're helping out a, a, a specific nonprofit in our region. Yes, sir. We. After I pay the bills, they get all the money. Oh, and that's and I, I know that that's got to help a lot of folks. I hope it, we're just doing the best we can. Right. What? What? When you first started this, you know, we talk about the shows all the time. I want to go back a little bit. When you first started doing these, what drove you to do these? Well, I was at Walmart at that time, and mm -hmm. Walmart's charity, corporate charity, was the Children's Miracle Network. Mm -hmm. And I have a niece and nephew that are that have been helped tremendously by mm -hmm. them. And we're always looking for money, ways to raise money for for the charity. And I had friends that were into hobbies, and we just started the toy show, and it's. It's grown, and the Children's Miracle Network was a great charity to work with, but they're a multi-million dollar charity. They're not going to miss my few thousand dollars that we're able to give some of the smaller mm -hmm. groups around here. And we made the decision several years ago to start looking at smaller local organizations that we can help. And how many, how many of these have you done so far? This is the 18th year, wow. and we're doing four a year now. Oh, man. So they're starting to add up. It's a lot of work for you all to put these together to organize this, isn't it? It is, but we're truly blessed. A lot of the vendors, all I got to do is set the date and mm -hmm. they show up. I don't have to do a lot of leg work getting new vendors. I, I took my son the last time you had one of these. He was collecting Funko Pops at that time, those little standalone mm -hmm. figures. And he, he found several there. That, but as I'm walking around, I, I'm not a collector of anything really, but maybe a little sports memorabilia. You can find that. You can find so many. You're going to find things that you're saying, I'm going to take that home with me. And a lot of it is very, very fairly priced. It is. And we'll have some high end collectibles that you won't find any place right. else except on eBay. And it is amazing some of the things you walk around and things from your childhood. Things, you know, I'm, I'm 60 years old now, but I saw things from like the 70s and the 80s that are still around, still in good condition. And you wanted, I, there were lots of things I just wanted to take home with me. Well, as people get older, they, they reminisce. Yes. And sometimes you have more disposable income available <laughs> and you can go back and buy your childhood right. or at least that part of your childhood. Right. I saw my six, uh, I had a $6 million man lunchbox way back in the day and I saw one of those at the last one and I, I was this close to taking it home. With <laughs> it would have been all right. You, it would have been okay. <laughs> All right. Michael Stevens, we appreciate everything you're doing. Chris, thank you so much All for right. having me. All right. It is the Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show. It's happening at the Appalachian Fairgrounds right there in Gray this Saturday from 9 to 3. Admission is $5. Ages 12 and under are free. It benefits the Gray Community Chest. If you need more information, though, please call that number you see on your screen right now.